Hi, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square, and this week I'm going to show you how to make one of our most popular placemat patterns, the kaleidoscope placemat block pattern. Um, this one has been very popular for us, and we've had a few people asking how to make it since it looks kind of difficult, but it really isn't. So um, we're going to take you over to the sewing machine and show you just how easy this one is to make. So let's get going and make the kaleidoscope placemats. Okay, to start with, I'm going to take the two and a half inch squares and I'm going to sew them into strips of three. For um, one placemat, I will need three strips of three, like so. And for your whole set, you would need 12 strips of three, three for each placemat. So I'm just going to sew these together. I start by putting them in pairs and then I will sew a third one to each pair. Now you have more pieces here than you need, but you'll need them later for another step. So. So after I've sewn all the pairs, I've made three pairs, now I'm just going to sew a third piece to the end of each two pieces, and then I will have my strips of three. So I'm going to go ahead and sew all those three, and then I'm going to press them flat. Okay, when you press your strips, make sure that you press each one with all of the squares going in the same direction. So I've got them all going in the same direction, and then when I sew them together, I can take one of them, I think I'll take this one with the dark color in the middle, and I can flip it. So these seams are going up, and these seams are going down, and these seams are going up. So when I sew them together into a nine square block, the seams will nestle nicely. And you can see how they, that reduces a lot of bulk, especially when you're quilting. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew these three into a square, and then I will press it and be right back. Now I've got that nine square section all done and I'm just gonna set that aside for now. Now we're gonna work on our larger squares and I'm gonna pair them up. Now what you're gonna do on the backs of the white or your light color, you're gonna draw a diagonal line. Nice and accurate because you wanna sew on both sides of it. I'm gonna draw. Nice accurate line like that, and you're going to sew a quarter of an inch on each side of it with one of these. Okay, so I'm going to sew a quarter inch on each side of that line. Oh, and you've got this sewing on both sides like here. Now you're going to cut on the line you drew. And then you will have two half square triangles and you will press these towards the darker color and you'll do this twice i've got two more pieces to do that too and then you'll have four pieces like this and then you can set these all aside as well and then we'll go on to the next step and next we're going to take the rectangles and i made them all the same color they can be all different if you want i made them all the same color for this one and you're going to take the white triangles and we're going to make some flying geese so we start by sewing, make sure I got the right side here. I'm going to sew a diagonal line from here to here on each piece on the right side of the rectangle. Now, when you sew these diagonally, you can either draw a line on here and then just sew right on the line, or I like to do this on my sewing machine. I've got a line of tape sewn uh, stuck down so that I can follow that tape. Let's go back to a center line here. And I can set my needle right on the top point here. And then if I keep this point on the left side of this piece of tape, I will have a perfect straight diagonal line. See that right there, nice, nice diagonal line. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew all of those diagonal lines and then we'll continue. Now, once you've got those all sewn on like this, you're going to cut off 
that corner of each one, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. Like so. Them all off. And then you're going to go press that corner to the corner, like so. so I'm going to go, I'm going to cut these and sew them. Oops, I already sewed them. I'm going to cut them and press them, and I'll be right back. Now to finish these, and these are called uh, flying geese, I'm going to sew another one to the opposite side of each one, like so. Oh, and I wanted to mention that when you're sewing any kind of a diagonal line like that, you want to start along the edge. If there is a fabric edge to be along, start your corner there rather than starting it at the two points because this will have a tendency to get caught by your machine. Sometimes how your machines like to eat ends of fabric. If you start here, you've got a whole line of fabric to save you from doing that. Okay, now I've pressed, I've uh, trimmed off that second corner and pressed them also towards the corner. So I have four of these for each placemat. And now what I'm going to do is take these little rectangles and I'm going to sew one to each edge of each of these pieces, to each flying goose. So there's going to be one here and one here on each side. So I'm going to go ahead and sew all those on. Okay, I've pressed them all with the little strips pressed towards the strips, taking pressing outward. So I've got four of these. And now I'm going to take these longer strips and I'm going to sew these. I'm going to sew these quarter inch seam along the bottom of each of those. Now I have four of these pieces. So what we've got these now is I'm going to sew two of them to opposite sides of our center piece, our center nine square. I'm just going to sew this one here and this one here. And I'm going to press them towards those white strips again. And I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got the center section sewn right here. And then I'm going to take the remaining ones of these two strips and I'm going to sew triangles like so. Um, our triangle squares here. I'm going to sew one here and one here, making sure that this is the placement with these two triangles sideways like that and this triangle pointing up. I'm just going to sew this one here and that one to the other side. Now uh, we have two pieces like this. Now we're going to sew these all together like so. I'm just going to put this here to a quarter inch seam, and this here to a quarter inch seam. So I'll go to that and be right back. Okay, so now you've got that part done. So what you're going to do is take all of your little remaining two inch, two and a half inch squares, and you're going to sew them into strips six squares long. So for one placemat, I'm only going to need two of those. And for all of your placements. If you're making the set of four, you're going to need eight of those strips. So strips of six. Now you've got two strips like this for each placemat with just six random squares on them. Now you're going to take your main piece, your main block, and you're going to sew these long white strips to two sides. So we're going to sew a strip down on each side here and here and press it and then I'll be right back. Now all we have to do is sew these square strips the outside edge of each side and we're done. So I'm going to go do that and we'll be finished. And there is the finished placemat. And now you know how to make the kaleidoscope placemat. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? It's got a good number of steps, but they're all very easy. And if you take it step by step, you can see that there's nothing difficult about making this. And it's a great way to use up scraps. So um, we tried it and this one is just all blue scraps and it beautiful in batiks, it's beautiful in multicolor scraps, you name it. it. We haven't made one yet that it didn't turn out really pretty. So I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification button if you'd like to be notified when we put out our patterns on, I mean our videos on Saturday morning. So we hope you have a good week, happy sewing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <music>